Hey everyone and welcome to another Raw for a Q video and I'm here in my holiday snooker room and as you remember I'm on a campsite with a snooker room which I've pretty much got exclusive use for for pretty much a week as I'm the only one who's requested a key for it and I'm the only one who's even shown an interest in it apart from a guy who stuck his head around the door yesterday and said oh this is nice uh, but I'm here to show you a new routine, a new beginner routine, beginner to intermediate which is good fun, good warm up, and just a little bit about positional play. It's it's kind of like a lineup, but it's not quite a lineup. It's got a little bit more to it than that, and I've called it the eye line. You'll see why in a minute because I'm going to reveal it's the shape of an eye, the letter I, not the things in your head. So voiceover ad here, and I'm going to talk you through the actual attempt. Uh, so I tend to start with, uh, if I'm starting on the black end of the table, I start with the uh, red on the right hand side as we look at it, just because I find this red easier to reach over. And I try and finish the end of the eye first, so the, the bottom end of the eye, then do the middle and then do the, the top, but it doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes I, I end up overrunning and, and finding better position on them, like a ball in the middle section than when I haven't finished the ends, but there it is. Uh, no editing on this, just uh, as I play them. Uh, this is probably my, th I think this is my third off, no, my second session of doing this routine other than uh, the very first one that I did on my coaching session. Uh, I guess you, you guess it's another one from my coach. And uh, yeah, so so this is probably the second attempt other than that. Uh, and I have done it plenty of other times since then. Uh, but as of the, what are we on? 30th of July, uh, as I record this voiceover, I haven't yet managed to clear this routine, which is very frustrating. Uh, although I think I've maybe have got a better attempt than what I've got to show here. Although funny story is, when I sort of set up this video, I kind of assumed that I would have cleared it by now. <laughs> As you'll see in a minute when I do the uh, some more uh, to camera presenting, uh, and I haven't done that. So the attempt, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil what's going to happen in the rest of the video. So as you see, I've disturbed a couple of the reds. I've left one of the reds on the bottom of the eye, on the black, near the, uh, sorry, near the pink spot, not the black spot. And I've also disturbed a red in the center part of the eye. So, uh, yeah, it's getting a little messy, but this is only 15 pots and they're all, you know, should be relatively straightforward. So it's just as I get, obviously get, less reds on the tail but you've got to be a bit more precise with your positional play and there's another red moved but that kind of helped me get in position of the red i've already moved uh, so i should be able to just stun this in for the red i'm next to or maybe go up one of the top reds on the balk line yeah just stunned in for the red i've got so i've actually got a choice of reds here so i could play the red that's closest to the yellow spot and uh, then hopefully clear the top of the eye that's what I'm going to do. So it's just a little screw back shot for the red on the brown spot, but I hit that a little bit too hard, end up stunning it. Uh, so I'm probably going to leave that red there and take the red that's, uh, yeah, that sort of red above the blue spot. Door's in the way a bit. Could probably shut the door, but room is very hot with the door shut. So the breeze. It wasn't a particularly warm day. The sun was out at the time, but, um, you know, it was quite warm in that room with the door shut. So I had to, have, had to have the door open. There was no windows, no, no ventilation other than the door. Uh, but there you go. I miss that fairly easy red into the middle. Well, I think that's probably about as close as I'm going to get today. But here's a couple of attempts from a couple of weeks ago or a week ago when I was back at Marlborough's Bowling Club. And... Whilst I didn't complete it, I came pretty close in one of these attempts. So take a look. So we go back in time a little bit more to the 20th of June, as the caption says there. 
And yeah, this was the first session of, of practicing this in the club after my coaching session. So this is the first chat time of actually having a good session attempt at it. I'm trying to sort of figure it out as a sort of puzzle. Um, you know, figuring out which are the best balls to start on and, and that kind of thing. Um, so here I wasn't wasn't doing a good job of finishing sort of each lineup section because after all it is basically just five lineups uh, sorry three lineups of five balls uh yeah i wasn't doing a good job of finishing each lineup section before moving on to the next one so i was sort of sort of random a bit uh you also see that i haven't put the best or i haven't updated the best um score on the bottom because this is technically further back in time so the, the attempt you just watched was obviously after this one so technically this would not you know not qualify of that was not qualified as being the best at this time when this one was filmed you know what i mean so i guess it's just gone a little messy with that red just moved out of the line but still in obviously in the center of the table so it's not like it's on a cushion this one's a bit tricky just having to roll it in and does, does a good job of rolling stopping uh, in time I think uh, this was before we had the tables recovered which you can probably tell from the from the marks on the table I think if that was one of the new cloths that would have probably gone into the reds there because they're a fair bit faster uh, so yeah just a bit of a gentle screw, screw shot there just to get back for this red and then I think I'm slightly low on this red so I should be able to Oh no, maybe I'm just screwing back for one of the reds. Oh no, ignore me. I thought I was going to screw back for one of the reds on the bottom line, but uh, obviously had a bit more of an angle than it looked. Not enough of an angle though, to get higher on this red. Otherwise, I would have played the one to the middle. So I'm playing this medium ish. Well, still not. It's not a long red, but. Uh, and there you go, I get a fluke. <laughs> but uh, on we go. Got to take them. It'd be a crying shame to get my first clearance with a fluke, though, but, um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that shot. Just a nice stun shot down. Uh, nicely on this red on the end of the line. But miscued I'm not miscued but didn't cue that well and that was meant to be a bit of a screw shot and ended up just essentially straight in line so tricky red coming up and basically have to take the cue ball all the way around the table to get back uh well, actually no I played it the other way around I thought I would play the red to the right corner but I ended up going in off anyway so that's that and then on to another attempt so this is from the same day uh, a bit later on in the session and uh, yeah, starting to get a little bit more of the hang of, of uh, the sort of puzzle of this routine. Yeah, date caption, helpful. Yeah, I've already told you it was the same day. Uh, I'm not just not getting the reaction on the keyboard that I want. I mean, it's okay because the, the red closest is, is okay. It's not too far off straight. But I did want a bit more, you know, to screw back a couple more inches, I think. But that's okay. So that, that was actually pretty good because I had a decent angle to do just a delicate screw shot. And now I've got the choice of these two reds. I'm going to take the far one because I think I'm slightly um, the wrong side of straight on the other red. So what of an angle I've got on this red? Can I come off the cushion and get on the red in, red in the middle? I can indeed. Have I hit it hard enough? Just about. In fact, that was pretty much perfect, actually. I haven't done a particularly good job of lining the reds up in the middle of the table, but it doesn't make a huge difference. As long as the spacing is correct. I don't know if I said at the beginning that the spacing should be two balls. Uh, apart essentially so you could use um, you know two colors or something like that to uh, space the balls so 
So the important one is on the block bulk line, don't be tempted to put the two extreme reds on the yellow and green spots. They should be slightly further than that. So I had to hit that line quite hard to get down, but I hit it far too hard. I was aiming to try and get back on the reds in the middle. And uh, yeah, just got, got, didn't judge the power well on that one. So I've got a tricky red into the middle here to keep the break going. Pretty awkward queuing in the pocket, uh, bridging rather in the pocket. But played that one pretty nicely. Uh, I've got a red with the rest into the right corner. I've got a red into the left corner, which is slightly more of an angle. So oh, I think this one's pretty straight, so I can just get the rest out and just try and screw it back a little bit. Don't hit. Didn't take enough care on that one. Actually, you no, know, maybe I was playing strats a stun run through because I had the rest on uh, turned around so that it was higher. So maybe I was playing a slight stun run through for this red to the middle. Maybe that was deliberate. So, red to the middle should be on one of the reds to the left corner. Yep. Just about goes in that one. So I think I'm slightly off straight here, so I'm trying to force it around the angles to get up and onto the red in the middle, uh, which I managed to do. I guess I could have played the other red next to it and stunned for the red I just played, but I don't know what was going through my mind at the time. But he misses it, which brings this video to a close. So let me know in the comments if you try this routine and what you think of it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you in the next video.